Despite being primarily a Minecraft YouTuber, I have other interests as well, and one of those interests is old Roblox. I joined Roblox in 2015, which is commonly considered the last year that is old Roblox. Does this mean I'm just as cool as someone who joined in 2006? Probably not, but I'm still technically a part of that era. However, there are sub-eras of old Roblox, and the oldest one by far is the pre-release era. There's information of Roblox that goes all the way back to 2003, and a lot of people think that Roblox has only existed in 2006 and beyond, so today, I'm going to explain the Roblox Beta Iceberg. There is one small problem. There is no Roblox Beta Iceberg. So I made my own iceberg with some entries that even existing Roblox Beta enthusiasts will not know. If you do not know what an iceberg chart is, it is essentially a series of facts that get far more obscure as you go lower and lower. So join me as I explain the Roblox Beta Iceberg. Dynablox. Dynablox is one of the three names considered for Roblox. It had a basic logo design and its domain was registered in late 2003, and is still owned by Roblox, although it just leads to a 404 page. The name was removed in favor of Roblox due to Dynablox being too difficult to remember. Mini games. Instead of games, I mean experiences, Roblox used to be short mini games, commonly using physics to win. You would primarily control motors, which would make a car move or spin a blade around to hit other objects. Minigames were removed when Roblox reopened in April of 2006, but they may have still been somewhat playable up until mid-2007. Morgan Maguire Screenshots Morgan Maguire is a game developer that worked on Roblox during its early development. Found on one of his old websites is three high-quality screenshots of Roblox from late 2005. These screenshots show a very different game compared to what we have now. A completely different UI is present, and there are no player characters. Morgan Maguire actually returned to Roblox in 2021, and still works there as of right now. Rusty Bucket Bay Rusty Bucket Bay is a song from the Nintendo 64 game Banjo-Kazooie, and many, many 2004 and 2005 remakes use this song as background music. Music. It is commonly mistaken to be the background music of the Roblox beta, which is most likely false. I'm pretty sure the origin of its usage with old Roblox was in Groovy Domino's 52's 2016 Roblox Evolution. But if you know its origin from somewhere else, then feel free to leave a comment with the correct origin. Roblox Points Roblox Points was the precursor to Robux. You could earn it by your minigame getting popular, or getting high scores on minigames. The user with the most Roblox Points as of July 14, 2005 was Wooji with 16,265 points. GoBlox GoBlox is another name considered by Roblox in late 2003. Unlike Dynablox, typing goblox.com actually redirects you to the Roblox homepage. The interesting thing is that back in 2002, Goblox, with an X at the end, was actually a web hoster completely unrelated to Roblox. This is also where the Building the Blocks with Technology logo comes from. That logo is often misinterpreted as the first ever Roblox logo, as well as this one, which is completely fake. It is unknown exactly why the name has changed. RBLX04 RBLX04 is a Roblox simulator that simulates Roblox from late 2004. Unlike most old Roblox simulators, RBLX04 is completely user-generated and even has a built-in studio where you can make your own minigames. As of right now, it is the best way to play the Roblox beta since no clients from 2006 and before have been found yet, and it's also really easy to access due to it being created inside of Roblox. Contests While not exclusive to the Roblox beta, contests were exactly what they sound like. Contests. To participate, you would play a specific game and complete the objective mentioned on the website. The known contests held in 2005 were Fend Off the Bots, Junkyard Wars, Balance Number 1, Steer the Spheres, and Steer the Spheres 2. Controller Flags. Controller flags were the main method of creating controllable players during Roblox's beta, and were controlled with motors. Common ways they were used were to create vehicles or fans. While being a method of player control, they also had some computer-controlled features, so they could chase or flee the player. When controllable characters were added, controller flags were abandoned and weren't completely removed until 2009 with the addition of vehicle seats. The problem with them is that they wouldn't work well in multiplayer. Since they were intended for single player, a single vehicle could have been controlled by the entire server, which is why they were disabled on all multiplayer servers, unless if they were configured to be computer controlled. Another reason why they were removed was that controller flags were just simply too complicated for the average player. Building a vehicle with vehicle seats is as simple as attaching a few wheels to the part with hinges and welding a vehicle seat on top. While with controller flags, you would have to do a bunch of the configuration through the properties panel, and most of the property names for the controller flags didn't even mean anything to the average player. I don't even know how to build a simple rotating part with controller flags in the 2007 client. Bloxcon 2013 mockup. 
During the State of Robloxia presentation at BloxCon 2013, a mock-up of the Roblox website from January of 2004 was shown. It features some blurry screenshots, one of which we'll talk about in detail later, and some references to Dinoblox and GoBlox. The mock-up shown at BloxCon 2013 actually has some information censored, but the uncensored image was somehow found and shows a bit more information such as the copyright date and dates of the contests. Bridget Bridget was a minigame created in 2005 and is one of the most popular minigames to recreate due to its simplicity. You would control a player on a skateboard and need to cross a bridge to win. However, the bridge is non-existent so you would need to build a bridge with the part provided. After doing so, you could cross the bridge with your player and win. G3D Fun G3D Fun, or Blocks 3D, is a recreation of the Morgan Maguire builds of the Roblox beta that is currently in development. Unlike other recreations, it actually uses the same rendering engine that Roblox was using at the time, making it look nearly identical to the screenshots. The only problem is that it's very unfinished. Physics don't work at all, and all of the drop-down menu buttons don't even function. There hasn't been an update in quite a few months, but updates for G3D Fun have had long waits before, so chances are, this is still being worked on. As for when it's finished, who knows? John's Puzzle Game John's Puzzle Game was a minigame created for the January 2004 game design contest. It's unknown how you would play the game, but the build in the thumbnail kind of looks like a lambda. The most interesting thing about the screenshot is the text on it. Most would consider the text unreadable, and that's how I assumed it would be forever. Until the uncensored version of the Dinoblox mockup was found. While the text quality didn't get any easier to read, the comment section in a video by Flexible Banjo showing newly found Roblox screenshots had some unbelievably obscure information. The user TopBurnerD commented, We have to find a good quality version of 2004 images. Flexible Banjo replied, On the HD uncensored January 2004 mockup photo in here, if you zoom in closely enough with a good program, you could actually make out the text in the game images. I chimed into the conversation and asked, What does it say? Because it just looks like meaningless pixels when I zoom in. Flexible Banjo replied, From my memory, the top text on John's puzzle game says, Build a bridge that doesn't break. I forgot the others though. It takes a special kind of program to zoom in without losing quality, which I don't have. With the new information, I opened paint.net and upscaled the image without any filtering to preserve the pixels. I then typed, build a bridge that doesn't break, and it matched. This information is insane as a discovery like this for the Roblox beta hasn't happened in a long time. I sent another reply asking what the program was, but never got a reply back. If you know the name of the program that can upscale text without losing quality, please leave the name in the comments as what the rest of the text says still remains a mystery. Toolbox Account Toolbox was a Roblox account that would supply all of the default models for the Toolbox in 2005. All of the models created by Toolbox have corrupted due to age, but many users in 2006 placed the models in their games before they were corrupted, and since most 2006 games were uncopyloft, players were able to copy the game and re-upload the models in its original form. Some of these models include Fragment Bomb, Chase with Figure, Scooter, Rotating Obstacle, and many more. The Toolbox account was terminated due to it being password guessed. Patent Screenshots On May 11, 2005, Roblox filed a patent for Online Building Toy, which would have screenshots of Roblox's website and editor. The images are not that high quality and are just in black and white. Despite this, the patent goes into detail on how controller flags work, and even provides a series of pictures showing how to make a simple cart. Without this patent, a lot of information regarding how the Roblox beta worked would have been lost. I'll leave a link in the description to the patent if you want to check it out for yourself. Posable Models During the majority of Roblox's beta, there were no characters like how we have now. However, there were posable models which would let you pose the model by pressing the buttons. The confirmed poses the models could be posed in are standing, sitting, and climbing. While standing and sitting models have been found, the climbing one hasn't, likely because it wasn't a pose and was more of a way for the model to move vertically. Dinoblox Remake Dinoblox Remake is a project created by myself in 2020, and it is not accurate in the slightest. Despite this having the approval of the guy that got me interested in old Roblox, Groovy Dominoes 52 and many other players, I do not think it's accurate. You control a character like a modern Roblox avatar, which did not exist during most of the beta, and most of the UI isn't even functional. It's not like G3D Fun, where they're remaking it all from the ground up. I used a game engine as a starting point, and most of the code is borrowed from the Unity forums. By all means, download it. 
it, but just don't expect anything accurate. Forum posts. There are archived forum posts going as far back as 2004, which suggest features that are still in Roblox to this day, such as the explore and an undo button. There's quite a bit of information on how the Roblox beta was in these forum posts. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out the archived forum posts. Ground Environment Ground Environment was one of the starting places in the Roblox beta. It was a flat green base plate. That's it. Browser based. During the majority of Roblox's beta, Roblox would be played in the browser with the help of ActiveX, a framework by Microsoft that allows applications to be run in the web browser. In 2004, Roblox was heavily dependent on website input. Most of the controls would have been in the web browser with buttons for inserting parts, posing models, starting, stopping, resetting the game, and many others. In 2005, most if not all of the editor controls were in the program now, but it is unknown if there was still website interactivity. It was removed in 2006 at the latest. Logo Colors Shown at Roblox Rally 2011, there were four different versions of the 2004 Roblox logo. These include red, blue, an orange, yellow, and purple gradient, and a metallic color, but as you all know, the red and white one was the one that was chosen. Controllable Characters Despite most people thinking controllable characters were added in 2006, these were actually tested in late 2005. We don't have any actual screenshots or video of these builds, but the player wouldn't have been able to jump and the characters had different colors. Found 2005 maps There's actually some 2005 maps that were found back in February of this year, however, no minigames were found. The minigames found were just Stress Tests, Ground Environment, and Brickyard, a map that was eventually merged with the 2006 Starter Place, but was originally a map on its own. Brickyard was likely used when characters were added in late 2005. I don't know where these maps were found, but it's cool regardless that we found some maps from 2005, even if they aren't minigames. The next entry on this iceberg is one of the most obscure facts about the Roblox beta. Almost no one knows about it and it has been a secret for a long time. Not really, but I'm making a Roblox beta recreation in Godot. It is extremely unfinished at the moment, but will feature driving, building, exporting, some form of website sharing, and much, much more. And for players that want their fix of the Roblox beta, introducing Roblox, a mid-2004 recreation that you can play right now. It's not accurate in the slightest, but it's more of a creative take on what the Roblox beta in 2004 was than how it actually was. Update videos on Godot blocks will be posted to my second channel for you to watch, and let's hope I don't procrastinate too much and stop working on this in favor of another project. No! Hey, I made it to the end. Thanks for watching. This video was really fun to make, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to, please make sure to like and subscribe, as it really helps my channel grow. And with that said, thanks for watching.